Hi everybody, Colin from The Bike Dads here, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Rocky Mountain Reaper 26 inch full suspension bike. It has 120 millimeters of front suspension and 130 millimeters of rear suspension. Just think a scaled down little mini Rocky Mountain altitude. Let's have a look. Now we've tested the 24 inch version of this platform in the past, but this is the 26 inch. So the differences here being 26 inch wheel set, a different fork and longer cranks. Also, it has the addition of a drop post. So let's first start with what I think they did really, really right. And that is including the wheel set. Now you need a nice light rotational weight wheel set for the kids, especially if they're gonna be climbing. Now, this is more of an XC wheel set, but it's lived up to the abuse my nine-year-old gave it all summer long with no problems, be it in the bike park or climbing out Mount Frome or up in Squamish. Extremely light, easy to get the tires rolling, great. Something else that's exceptional on the Rocky Mountain Reaper 26 is the suspension design. This rear Ride 9 technology, the fact that it's filtered down into a kid's platform is amazing. So you can essentially change the head angle, shorten up the chain stays a wee bit, even the reach gets adjusted a tiny bit depending on the terrain you're gonna ride. Now this makes it very versatile. So if you're gonna be climbing a lot, riding tighter technical trails, you can throw it into the steep angle. But if you're gonna be pounding steep laps in the bike park, you can throw it right into the slack angle. We played with it and it was awesome. And another thing is the fact that the suspension just works, both front and back uh, for kids. So my little guy, he's nine, he weighs 75 pounds and he had amazing traction with both the fork and the rear suspension platform of the bike. He was in such control. His riding advanced a ton aboard this platform, just simply for the fact he was in control. No skidding around or getting just pushed through stuff without any suspension. It was active all the time. And like I said, just giving him a ton of grip and control. The brakes come spec with 180 mil rotors, both front and rear. And the brakes on spec are the Shimano 4100s. They're a two piston brake with um, a bit longer of a lever. Now this is something actually I prefer. I'd spend a bit more to get the short lever Shimano Dior brakes if I could. They're also two piston brakes, but I just find the levers are a bit better for small hands for the, with the kids. That said, the brakes did absolutely fine for us. Um, never had to bleed them once during the test period. They provided plenty of stopping power and my son didn't have any problems modulating them in all conditions. The fork does work phenomenal. It's a Sector RL, so it uses a debonair air spring, which is a fantastic air spring and an air spun fork. And it also uses the motion control damper from RockShock and I've used forks with that damper in the past. They are great and I've even pedaled around on the Reaper a little bit and squished it and you can tell it's a high performing fork. Bar and stem worked great. The bar comes in at about 720 millimeters, so you can cut that down as we did a few millimeters to fit your specific child, no problems. Lock on grips and a Shimano 10 speed shifter round out the cockpit here, and they both work great during our test period. I can't believe how good dropper posts are getting these days, and it's almost like a detriment to a bike in a 26 inch platform if it doesn't have one for the kids. It was so easy to use for my 75 pound nine year old up and down. The lever was great. The air sprung was light. He could easily get it down when he seated. Phenomenal post on a great platform bike. The chain was quite noisy slapping around on that rear stay. And while the dad and me loved it as I could hear him behind me uh, riding the Whistler bike park and know he was there, eventually the mountain biker in me just caved and I had to cover it up with a tube to quiet it down. It was just too loud. This noise should be resolved in the 2021 platforms as I believe there's a new chain stay protector on there. The drive chain uses a 11 to 40 tooth rear cassette with a Shimano Dior clutch derailleur. It worked great. I've heard the 2021 model is actually gonna get an expanded range cassette for the 26 inch platform. So I think it's gonna bump up to 46 tooth for the, the biggest chain ring, which is great. Um, it also uses a 30 tooth front chain ring with race face cranks. Now the cranks are 165 millimeters. So 
that's on the longer side for our personal preference for 26 inch platforms. I'd personally rather prefer to see the 152 millimeter cranks that are spec'd on the 24 inch platform on this bike. Um, just, I think the advantages of the smaller cranks far outweigh any penalty you'd have for, let's say if they're a little, a little bit uh, heavier or anything like that. Now, another thing we should mention is these 26 inch Maxxis minions. Now they appear, appear to be an OEM minion. When you look at the specified width of 2.35 inches, it doesn't seem to match up. They look actually a little narrower. When I put my trusty tape measure on here and eyeball it, it looks maybe 2.25. Um, not necessarily a detriment. They're actually probably faster rolling and they, they cut a little better for the kids when they're riding. But just so you know, they're, they don't appear to be like a, two, a true 2.3 or 2.4 inch tire. So with a 350 millimeter reach, this is a really nice small fitting 26 inch platform where you can take advantage of the bigger wheel sizes over a 24 inch wheeled bike. So if you're thinking size wise, you're probably gonna be able to fit a nine, maybe even an eight year old on here all the way up to 10, 11 years old, depending on their size. This is a phenomenal bike for kids that are gonna ride all different kinds of terrain. Being able to have a slack head angle of just under 64 degrees and steeping it up to 65 or so really gives you flexibility in the bike's performance. This is a scaled down adult bike in a kid's package, which comes with all the great technology Rocky Mountain has, that Ride 9 technology. So who is this bike for? Well, any kid that's getting out there and wanting to rip. At just over 28 pounds, you can pedal this bike uphill with the low rotational weight tires and you can also absolutely crush it on the descents. This is a very versatile bike that I'd highly recommend if you have a nine year old, 10 or even 11 year old and are looking to have a good time on a mountain bike. For more information on the Rocky Mountain Reaper and where to purchase it, have a look at the link in the description and we'll see you on the trails.